Logan, you were saying it about McKenzie Melton. You were talking about that. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. I was talking about McKenzie and how I think, you know, the mobility has looked good on him. I think what maybe fans are going to be worried about is how uh, his learning the offense is going to be. And that's, I, I would rather have that worrisome than the mobility issues if that's really affecting him and getting the offense, you know, being able to, uh, what work the offense uh i i, I just the, it's just he's just been off at least that last scrimmage it was not so bad as the first one but uh, i still think right now your your solidified guy the the guy to beat is by far jordan travis um i think for him his ball is his deep ball there's still been a few overthrows but for the most part there was a beautiful ball off to the side which you know jordan travis has struggled on but off to the left side on the sideline to Ontario Wilson for about 35 yards, put it right where only the wide receiver could get it. I think it was Jerry and Jones who was on him during the first scrimmage and it was set perfectly for um, set perfectly for Ontario Wilson. Uh, And so there's just different things Jordan Travis has got to work on. Number one, getting reads down the first reads. Uh, That's something that, you know, during the second scrimmage, he did a very well job on, which I was pretty impressed by. But the first scrimmage, there was some struggle there. And number two is being so antsy in the pocket, wanting to get out of the pocket and run. He knows he's fast. He knows he's quick. And he can pick up these easy 20, 30 yards and, you know, to him that that's easy money, but there's sometimes where there's chances where you've got a wide open wide receiver for a 50, 70 touchdown yard game, you know, and that's just things he's working on. So um, the the guy to beat by far is Jordan Travis right now. Um, I don't think it's the other way around where it's, you know, the guy to beat is Mackenzie Milton right now, Jordan Travis and Tate Roadmaker are laps ahead of Milton. And we'll see if Milton is able to get that playbook down, build that chemistry, make those, Reads understand where these where, what these wide receivers do on their cuts and what kind of route style they're at. Um, so that's the kind of just the quarterback situation. So guys, if we were going to handicap this quarterback situation, basically the people that aren't close to the situation, but there are Florida State fans just assumed, and I did. I've got to admit to a certain extent, I assumed as long as Mackenzie Milton's healthy, he's the quarterback. As soon as he said, "I'm coming to Florida State." 98% of the people out there, and I'm going to admit, including myself, based on what I saw, saw out of quarterback play with this team last year, I thought, well, he's the guy, but he's being outplayed right now. It's unless, early, but he's being outplayed. Unless Mackenzie Milton pulls a Dan Kendra in the 1998 spring game, Mackenzie Milton will be the starting quarterback for Florida State against Notre Dame. You can mark that down right now. Mackenzie Milton does not come to Florida State to ride the bench behind Jordan Travis. Do I think Jordan Travis should be get a chance? Absolutely. But if you're asking who has the better arm right now to play quarterback, it's Mackenzie Melton. Mackenzie you- Melton, barring injury, will be the starting quarterback for Florida State against Notre Dame. There's a reason that the spring game is being formatted so that quarterbacks, you can't even get in the same area code as the quarterback. There's a specific reason for that. Keep Mackenzie Melton in bubble wrap until September 5th. That's what the coaching staff is doing right now. Logan, do you think this is a legitimate – competition uh i think there's a competition between milton and jordan travis but right now jordan travis has a huge leap on milton uh like i i I do think milton is coming here obviously to start that has probably been the intentions from both norbell and obviously milton this is his last year he wants to compete and, and get a starting job but um it's still it's so early on. I hate like saying that right now spring is like really a competition more than anything because Milton mm-hmm. just got here. He's learning the playbook. He's getting chemistry down with his wide receivers and running backs. But right now we can't just say though that Jordan Travis isn't in this. He's not the guy to beat. I think Jordan Travis is the guy to beat. And you know the scary thing to think of if Jordan Travis is able to spend this off season and get better at throwing. Mm-hmm. that marks a pretty interesting quarterback that Florida state can use in their favor. That, that creates a scary quarterback for Florida state's offense um, because the thing lacking him was getting his reads down, being a little bit too antsy in the pocket, which is understandable. You're, you have Florida state's offensive line, but 
you know, there were some things last year where he had good protection, but he was still being antsy, wanting to get out of the pocket because he's so quick and fast, and he's able to make those 10, 15-yard gains where, you know, you're missing a wide-open Keyshawn Hilton, which I saw multiple times in the stadium alone where he'd be wide open down the field and Jordan Travis isn't finding him. So those are things where if those corrections are made, I wouldn't be shocked to see uh, Jay Trav out there against Notre Dame to start off the season. So it just it, it creates an interesting thing. We still have a spring game to go through too and watch where you actually see in front of people they'll be there playing. And you know we're we're in an open scrimmage, so they're not going to run everything right in front of us. Um, and we've heard some some little tidbits of Milton showing out during some pra- uh, during practices. So you know we'll see what they, what they really run in a scrimmage practically but a really like a game type situation uh next saturday when they are in doe campbell stadium i think it will be fun to watch it'll be it's going to be interesting because right now you know you're there's been a lot of harp on milton not looking so great and whatnot let's see what happens on april 10th though 